in this problem, we're being asked to determine if two figures are congruent, first of all, and then if they're related by a, a transformation. That is, if some kind of translation or reflection or rotation could map one figure onto the other. So first of all, how about are these congruent? Figure A and figure B. Congruent means they're the same size and shape. And we can count the units along each of the sides and see that these are indeed congruent. They're the same size and the same shape. So yes, they're congruent. The second part is what transformation will map, if any, will map figure A onto figure B. And it looks just from eyeballing this that all we have to do is slide it down and we can count the number of units and it looks like seven. So translate figure A down seven units would put it right on top of figure B. Let's try another one. Here we have figure C, that's the one we're starting with, and then figure D up here. And the first question again is, are they congruent? And yeah, they're the same shapes as in that first problem. Um, you can count the units and double check that they're congruent. They are congruent. So what transformation is going to map C onto D? One of the things that's different about D is that it seems to be on its side from C. This is a clue that a rotation is going on here. So it's being you know, turned maybe this way or maybe this way. In fact, now that I draw that arrow, I can see that if I just turned this 90 degrees, it would be in this orientation, and it would actually be in that same position. You see how it's two units away from the axis here, and it's two units away from the axis here. So this, to me, looks like a rotation in this direction, and this is clockwise, of 90 degrees. And that would be this choice here, rotate figure C clockwise 90 degrees about the origin. So that's a little bit of work with determining whether figures are congruent and if they're related by a transformation.